Now, when everything is ready, we can start optimizing the portfolio. And the portfolio optimization is done with solver as any other optimization problem. And let's, for example, optimize our expected return. Maximization, yes, by changing what weights, of course. So we are deciding how much uh, of which stock we need to buy. And uh, constraints. Uh, first one would be that uh, we want the sum of our weights uh, be equal to 1. And another constraint could be that um, every weight uh, of the portfolio is less or equal than 70%. So we always have some kind of uh, diversification. We don't want to invest everything into one stock. Okay. And uh, yes, already with that, we can solve the problem and keep the solver solution okay. Yeah, so it suggests we need to get 70% uh, of the uh, Finair stock. Of course, uh, it's maximum return here. The, the, the task is very simple and 70% is the maximum share we allow to the solver. So it's uh, clear that we want to get this one. Now, okay, I might want to have also um, uh, different uh, optimizations here. Uh, let me copy this. Let me see that everything is okay. So why my weights are actually... Okay, this is moved. This is moved. Okay, everything is okay here. And our first case was uh, maximization of return. I also, for example, would want to check minimization of beta. And uh, so the solver would be beta minimization. But now I need also to change all my references here. So uh, I now want to change these weights. And I want to change also my uh, constraints to these weights. Okay. And the second one change would be this one. Okay. And now solve. Okay, and now actually we have the uh, very opposite uh, picture. So since, again, the fortune was uh, less dependent from the market, now we are uh, maximizing the share of fortune in here to minimize the better. Here we are. You can make uh, more cases for optimizing the portfolio, like it could be something with respect to risk also, for example or uh, more constraints. Uh, another constraint could be, for example, if you have more than two stocks uh, with these settings, it could be that 70% uh, first uh, stock, 30% uh, second stock, and then all the other zeros. You can actually count them and constrain that you want to have at least four out of 10 stocks. Now there is a problem here. The data analysis tool pack covariance matrix uh, have required some manual work and the results of the solver are actually rigid. So whenever new data is there, you need to repeat the whole thing all over again. So let's do something about that.